he's a very different man to the man we left off mm. in the original series. It is. Pete's always been the foil, you know, for the gags, kind of like the light relief. And I think this time around, they thought, let's give John a bit of a challenge with, this, with the storyline. Yeah. And uh, it was a challenge. It was a, a kind of like... The comedy comes naturally, because it's my pedigree, really. I mean, yeah. like... I mean, I'm an actor, but I'm used to doing the comedy. But so to play this was was for me in a way it was more fun. Mm. In a, it's for want of a better, more challenging. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because the comedy comes naturally. But, but the but, beauty um, of it is also that in in the brilliant way that Colfi is written and that you guys perform, um, that there there are those moments of wonderful comedy in the darkest times. Yeah. Harry, uh, his his relationship with Harry, mm. who um, who's uh, brilliantly played by James Bolton, so um, he's begging him to kill him, kill me, kill me, kill me, and then there is a shocking moment where you put the pillow over his head, and we are all distraught as viewers. Mm. That, oh, my God, he's done it. I can't yeah. believe he's done it. And then, and then it's that crazy comedy moment where he comes back. Yeah. That day was hard. It's like, you know, you don't... I don't really... T I'm not one of the... I'm not like a... I don't immerse... Oh, hello. I don't immerse Sorry. myself... <laughs> Sit down. I don't immerse myself in the role Sit. that much, but that day after that scene, to take that home, it was yeah. a bit much. Yeah. It was attempted murder. Yeah. And it was, like, so out of Pete's character. The, the beauty of it... It was like a, a, on, on social media, people went, no, what? no, 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 no. Yeah. And then it was it was paid off with a bit of comedy. Yeah. Which, like you say, that is the beauty of cold food. So how do you get, well, when you're filming then and you've got all of these really intense um, scenes, I mean, and you, you're, you're a funny man. Mm. So how do you sort of deal with that constantly all the time? Well, well the thing is, though, I, I, I can kind of, like... It, 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 you get yourself in that zone, but the thing is, though, I don't kind of remain in it because it's unhealthy. So, I, I, I mean, on Cold Feet, I, I, I play two roles. I do the job I'm required to do, the acting, and the other thing is I clown about. Do you? To Are keep, you class clown? I, I, I like to keep company spirits up, and, but at this time I had to keep my own spirits up <laughs> because to do a storyline like that, if I just kind of stayed in the zone, yeah. it would have just destroyed me. So what I would do is, you know, once I got that scene out of the way, I'll be back and... Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> Were you um, nervous about bringing it back, wary? The thing is, to put male depression, this is what I've, I've gleaned from social media. A lot of people have said male depression hasn't been portrayed accurately before. Yeah. Until this, now, I've been depressed. There's two different kinds of depression. There's clinical depression, which is a chemical imbalance, and there's circumstantial mm. depression. And I've suffered circumstantial depression. So I just drew on those personal experiences, but I felt I owed it to Mike as the master behind that story mm. to do it as when, real yeah. as possible. When you, because I know that you're all mates, and I think Hermione's godmother to your daughter. That's right, Olivia. So you're all, you're all mates, everyone gets on really well. But getting back together, because the rumours have been going on for Oh, I know. There's so happen. many false happen. alarms. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't believe it when they said it was coming back at all. I just so when you all got together, what was the first thing you shot as an ensemble all together? The first scene? Yeah. My first scene was when Jimmy had fallen and banged his head on the travelator, and it was myself, Faye, uh, Jack and Maddie uh, sat around the bed eating celebrations while Jimmy was going, well, I just had a wee fall. <laughs> and uh, that was our first scene. But I've always first scenes, first project, yeah. Always nervous days. I even bet, this, even this that I did six epi six series of. Yeah. I was still nervous that first day. And did day. you know? Because obviously it's been a hit. And, and well, yeah, no I didn't realise how big. <laughs> and it's been huge. It has been huge. And did you get that feeling on set where you thought? Because you knew you sort of feel that little magic spark mm. again. Did you feel that happening all over again? I loved working on it. I ran to work. I relished w working with my friends. It was a joy. It, it was filmed where I live. Some days I walk to work. <laughs> so lucky. So we'll send a car and I'm walking. That's right. Two minutes. So there was that. Um, I didn't... I just loved the, jo the job. But I didn't really know what the big picture was until we had a screening of episode one. Mm. I saw it and I thought, oh, it's quite... It's good. It's good. I mean, Jimmy went, oh, it's all right, isn't it? And then it was down to the public to decide. Mm. So on the, the opening night of Cold Feet, uh, it, I got some friends and family tweet, uh, texts, but I left social media alone. Yeah. In the morning, I went, oh, my God. It was the third 
highest trend in the world. Wow, that's crazy. Awesome. And the thing is, that, was that, like, there wasn't any of that what? first time round. No. <laughs> no so there, no, there was no exactly. social media, there were hardly any phones. <laughs> well, there were, but you had to wait for the valves to warm up. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, we've been talking about Cold Feet coming back. We've got it back. Now we want to know if we've got it back again. Do we know anything about well, the series or...? Obviously, on the ratings and the viewing figures, it, yeah. it's very, it's, it's it's in a strong position. But I haven't had the. But you do. I right? haven't had the emperor's thumbs, thumbs up. up yet. But I, I would like to think so. Yeah. I'd, I'd do it. I'm sure yeah. we all would because we love doing no it. No shows. discussions at all. Maybe a little little whisper. <laughs> but I, I can't say. I, like I say, I am. Uh, I'm held to ransom. Of course, of course. But they'd be barking mad. Not well, I think there'd be an outcry if there wasn't, but I can't say. I no. cannot be spokesperson for the show. Of course show. you can't. I cannot. Of course you can't. <laughs> but I'd like it's to It's coming think. back. <laughs> uh, that sounded like much. it to It's me. a pleasure. For more of the same, just click here. And don't forget, you can subscribe for even more of these amazing videos exclusive to our channel. You have to take your clothes off. No! Well, that's lucky. <laughs> I know, I don't know. Because, I because the, 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 I suppose to paint a picture of, of this man and his excesses... Um, is he would have his clothes off most of the time, you'd think. Yeah. Yeah, we see bits of that, I suppose, and we see, uh, we see there's one... Uh, he, the king commissions him to write something, gives him a chance to show, show his true talents, and he comes up with this. His one play that he wrote was extraordinarily um, dirty, oh, and, that, and we get to see a bit of that. 